Today, we're going to show you how to recharge your vehicle's AC system using Black Diamond Avalanche refrigerant with smart clips and a low side pressure gauge. Black Diamond Avalanche's ultra synthetic formula provides maximum cooling while sealing common leaks and extending compressor life. Recharge using both temperature and pressure to accurately fill your system and bring back the cold air. And remember, always wear protective eyewear and gloves and never place the refrigerant can on any hot engine parts. As you read the instructions, it's important to note the correct pressure reading we're trying to achieve on our gauge. The pressure chart on the can uses ambient outside temperature to determine the correct pressure. For example, on an 80 degree day, the low side pressure should read between 40 and 50 PSI. Now let's get started. First, remove both smart clips from the cap and insert them into the center air vent. Find the vehicle's low side pressure service port on the line between the AC compressor and the evaporator. Every automotive AC system has both a low and high pressure port. We will be using the low side port, which is the only port the quick connect coupler will connect to. Now let's start the engine and set the AC to maximum cool and maximum airflow. Make sure both the windows and doors are closed so that we are only using the air vent to monitor the temperature. Ensure the recharge hose is tightly fixed to the can by twisting it clockwise and then shake the can well. At this point, check to see if the compressor clutch is engaged. If the center of the pulley is spinning, then the compressor clutch is engaged. Depending on your system, you may be able to hear the clutch cycle on and off. If the pulley doesn't spin, you may be too low on refrigerant and need to add some to engage the system. You can now connect the recharge hose to the low side service port by pulling back on the connector ring and pushing the coupler into place. You should feel it snap onto the part. Gently pull on the coupler to make sure it's locked on. It is also important to note that your gauge may read high before recharging. A high gauge reading is also an indicator that your system is out of refrigerant. Note that the gauge's current pressure reading is caused by the ambient outside temperature. For example, on a 90 degree day, your gauge will read around 105 PSI. This chart will let you know what the ambient pressure is based on outside temperature. Let's start adding refrigerant by holding the can upright and squeezing the trigger while continually shaking the can from a 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock position. The Avalanche logo will change color from white to blue, indicating that refrigerant is being added to the system. If you are very low or empty on refrigerant, this process can take several minutes. Once you've added enough refrigerant, you will see and hear the compressor clutch engage and should be able to get a reading from the gauge. Add refrigerant to achieve the correct PSI level according to the pressure chart located on the back of the can. Again, read the pressure only when the compressor clutch is cycled on. If the clutch never engages and you never get gauge readings lower than 45 PSI, stop and seek a mechanic's assistance. If your gauge pressure is not increasing while adding refrigerant, stop charging and use the smart clips to determine the correct fill. Do not overcharge by adding too much refrigerant. This can cause damage and require expensive repairs. It is also important to note that some newer vehicles within the last eight years have a new type of expansion valve that cannot be accurately charged using a low side gauge only which is why Avalanche includes smart clips to charge by temperature as well as pressure. You can determine if you have such a system if your PSI reads from 25 to 30 only and won't increase no matter how much refrigerant you add. Make sure to check the pressure level every 10 to 15 seconds by releasing the trigger. Continue the process until the gauge needle reads the correct PSI level according to the pressure chart. Periodically, remove the coupler and check the smart clips after increasing your RPM slightly with a closed passenger compartment. The first clip will change color to blue to show that you are nearing the correct fill. The second clip will change color to green when the correct fill is reached. Note that if the outside ambient temperature is above 95 degrees, only the blue clip needs to change color for a sufficient charge. When you have reached the correct fill and your AC is blowing cold, stop charging and remove the quick connect coupler. 
store the can in a cool, dry place or discard according to state or local guidelines. The recharge hose and gauge can be detached and reused as needed. Thank you for choosing AC Avalanche for your AC recharging needs. You can find out more about our products at acavalanche.com.